Welcome everyone to my channel Everything PS. With UMD. In a new tutorial in our Premiere Pro course. Do you want to know how to add visual effects in Adobe Premiere Pro? Then you are in the right place to be. Let's start our tutorial. For this tutorial, I am working with a project file. 0702. Adds visual effects. You'll find this project file with the media associated with this tutorial. You can download it from the link down below in the description. Just double click on it to open it in Premiere Pro. As well as transition effects. There are many visual effects available. Some with more practical. And some with more creative results. You apply all standard effects in the same way. Let's find out how. I'm working here with a sequence called Going Home. We've got a lot of great visuals. And in particular at the beginning of the sequence. We've got a simple title in the foreground. And a shot of a forest in the background. I will just play a little section of this so you can see what's going on. I think it would be interesting if we could make the background shot behind the title a little blurry. That'll help to focus the audience's attention on the titles. I'm going to the effects panel. And I'm expanding video effects. And blur and sharpen. And I've got a number of blur effects available. Wanted to draw your attention in particular to some of these markings next to the effects. The first one on the left. This goes faster arrow indicates that your graphics card can do the work of playing back the visual effect. The end result is that it's a little bit quicker, and you won't need to pre-render or pre-process the effect to see it. If this icon is grayed out on your system, it's because you don't have the kind of graphics card that can accelerate playback in that way. Don't worry the result is the same, but you'll need to press the enter key on your keyboard to prepare the shot for playback if you want to see it on your computer screen. At the top of the effects panel the search box. And if I collapse this video effects category. And click into the search box. And type the word. Blur. All of the effects that contain that name are displayed. It's a quick way to find an effect if you know the name and don't want to browse for it. I'm gonna drag the Gaussian blur onto this clip. And you can see the effects badge lights up to show an effect is being applied. And nothing's gonna happen to the clip initially. Because like most effects the Gaussian blur effect doesn't make changes. Until you set them. You may decide that you prefer to use a different blur. And the only way to find out is to experiment with them. Anyway for now. I'm going to go to the effects workspace. And this is going to put the effects panel over on the right. Along with a number of other panels. I might want to work with. And it's going to open up the effect controls panel on the left. The focus here is very much on the clips on the timeline that I'm working with. With the clip selected on the timeline. I can see the effect controls for that clip including this Gaussian blur, I just applied. I'm going to drag on the number here for the blurriness. I notice that every control here has a reset button. If I click, this goes back to zero. I just undo that. With Control z here on Windows. That'd be Command z on Mac OS. And you'll notice there's some darkening around the edges of the frame here. That's a consequence of the way blurs are calculated. I can get rid of that by turning on the repeat edge pixels option. Of course, different effects have different options. And these options are relatively simple. But whichever effect you apply, you're going to find all of the controls here inside the effect controls panel. If I want to remove the effect, I can select it and press delete. And of course, I can restore that by undoing. By pressing Ctrl Z here on Windows. Or Command Z on Mac OS. It's easy to remove effects. So it's safe to try as many as you like before deciding on the final result. I'll play a little bit. 
and I think that works. I'm gonna go back to the editing workspace and continue working on my project with so many effects to choose from and so many third-party effects you can install. It might take time to decide on your favorites. Now that you know how to add, adjust, and remove effects, the best thing to do is try others and decide if you like the results. Here we go, we are done for today. Don't forget to sub, like, share, and leave your comment down below. See you next time, goodbye.